All right, Shalom Yasharala. Back again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Racha Kodesh. Next up, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We still go out there to the harvest of byways and preach to 100% truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy unto the Akim out there who's pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity. And with that, I uh, just want to uh, do another lesson today to the Spirit of Poppy by Shemel Shai on, the, um, on um, pretty much. Oh, I'm going to let the scriptures talk, then the title will come to me. This is the book of uh, Matthew 14 and 22. And straightway, Yahweh Shai constrained his disciples to get into the ship. And to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up unto the mountain apart to pray. And when, he, and when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the waves was contrary. Um, which means, uh, you know, um... Um, the ship was, uh, it was a bad storm, so to speak. It was a really bad storm. Like, if you watch, uh, if you watch documentaries, or if you watch, uh, different, uh, ancient movies, on, uh, like, uh, what's that movie called? Um, like, uh, I think it was Percy Jackson, something like that, of how, like, uh, the, the ship, the ship was, uh, 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 uh the ship uh, it's like a, the, it was a bad storm, and then the ship would toss up and down and uh, sideways and stuff like that. That's pretty much how it was in this situation. Or if you watch that show Vikings, uh, it shows a scene where um, it was a bad storm, and the ship was just going to and fro, to and fro, to and fro everywhere, man. Everybody was fearing for their life, man. You know, this is this is the same case scenario right here. Um. Uh, and, and, and the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh went on to them, walking on the sea. Right, so Yahweh was walking, literally walking on top of water. This is a miracle. And when his disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, Is it, it is a spirit? And they cried out for fear. Right, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, so the disciples were like, Oh my gosh, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Just imagine. Just imagine you're in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the ocean, with a terrible, terrible storm on the ship. You're already scared of the storm as it is, but you just see this, this, this glowing figure just walking on the water, just walking, just walking normally. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Coming right to the ship. You know what I'm saying? And not saying nothing, not yet anyway. And they cried out for fear. And straightway Yahweh Shah spoke unto them, saying, Be not afraid, me, be of good cheer. It is I, be not afraid. So they were like, ah, you know what I mean? They were, they were screaming, man. You know what I mean? They were screaming, you know what I'm saying? Because they seeing, they seeing, they, they seeing this glowing figure just walking towards the seaside, just walking on the water, man, just coming right towards them. You know what I mean? Probably had a straight face and everything, you know? Probably had a serious look on his face. You know, but yeah, he was like, be a, be a good comfort, man. Don't be afraid. It's me. I mean, this is me. Don't worry about it. So let's see what happened. And Peter answered him, say, it's like, a, and Peter answered him. This is verse 28, by the way. And Peter answered him, saying, and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on the water. All right. So Peter was like uh, the head apostle. He was like, uh, okay, Lord, if it, if it's really you. Let me walk, let me walk into the water to you then. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me walk on the water to you, you know? Let me go over there where you're at. And he said, and Yahweh said, come. And when Peter was come out on the of the ship, he walked on, on the water to go to Yahweh Verse 30, but when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. And he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Right, uh, which means that the wind was very, uh, it was very strong. It was very violent, man. 
it was how probably howling, man, just howling. You know what I'm saying? It was a uh it was a very it was a very bad storm that day. You know? It was a very bad storm. And it just got worse and worse as Peter was walking and Peter was paying attention. Uh, was uh was was worried about the storm and instead of focusing on Yahweh Shah and he started to doubt himself like, Oh, why am I out here? Why did I why did I go out on the water? You know what I mean? He started doubting. And that's when he began to sink. You know what I mean? When he had them doubtless thoughts, when he was doubting. You know what I mean? That's when he was beginning to sink then, because he was his face, his face, he was doubting the hour shy. You know what I mean? But he was like, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O ye little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come unto the ship, the wind seized. Right. Yahweh was like, pretty much was like, you know what I mean? Oh, man, like, why'd you, why didn't you have faith in me? You know? Why did you doubt me? Like, why did you doubt? Knowing that I pretty much I was right there in front of you. You know? That's the reason why uh, uh, Peter got distracted. The apostle, the chief apostle Peter got distracted, man. He got distracted by the, the elements, man. Instead of focusing on Yahweh's You know me? As he was walking towards him. And that's how we got to, and that's how we got to be in this truth, man. This truth, we can't, we can't worry about other things, man. We can't worry about what people think. We can't worry about these stupid debates. We can't worry about. Anything that's going to hinder us from this truth, man. We can't worry about women. We can't worry about uh, 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 having a college degree and all that nonsense, man. We can't lose sight on your how about shimmy how shy, man. That's how we got to be in this truth. We got to walk towards. We can't look that way. We can't look that way. We got to look forward, man. We have to look front. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, let's say you walking on. Um, let's say you walk. What's that thing called? When you have to balance yourself, when you have to balance yourself on that line, that zip line, or whatever, and you have to balance yourself, you have to look straight. You have to look straight, and you have to trust in your body. You know what I mean? You have to balance yourself. Because if you look down, you're going to fall. If you look left, you're going to fall. If you look right, you're going to fall. If you look up, you're going to fall. You know what I mean? You have to look straight, and you have to focus. You have to keep balance, man. You can't wobble. You know what I mean? That's the same way in this truth, man. We can't look, we can't look to the left, we can't look to the right, we can't look down and we can't look up. We have to look straight. We got to go to that straight path, man. We can't, we, 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 don't worry about what's, 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 uh, beside you. You know what I mean? Don't worry about the afflictions, the hell, the, the women, the, the riches of this world, the, the, the success. Like this other scripture says, if you're not the oppressor, man, don't be jealous of what he got. He got the women, cars, clothes, and hoes. You know what I mean? He got the world at the palm of his hand. You know what I mean? Don't be envious of that. Don't be jealous of that. Because we're going to get something greater than him. So, you know what I'm saying? So, we have to, we have to, we have to have, we have to be focused. We have to keep our mind on Yahweh by Shimei on Shai. You know, not on other things, not on other doctrines, not on other things that's going to hinder us from this truth. You know? Let's see, uh. Um. Yeah, I think that's about it. And the scripture says, when they were coming to the ship, him and Peter, uh, the wind seized, which means that storm, it was, uh, that storm, uh, the storm stopped. Ah, it's like, it's like the storm stopped. It's like I'm sweating in here. Sweat got my eye. It's like, you know what I mean? The storm seized, man. The, 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 it didn't thunder, it didn't lighten, it didn't do none of that. The wind wasn't, the wind wasn't, uh, was it, was it, was a howling and none of that. It seized, man. It, it got real calm once Yahweh Shah and Peter entered into the ship, man. You know, the wind stopped. So, uh, the, 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 the conclusion of this story, the conclusion of this, remember what the scripture said is, is, uh, we have to have our mind focused on Yahweh by Shimon Shai. And and not looking around, worrying about other things, man. As Peter did in this situation, instead of focusing on Yahweh Shah, walking towards Yahweh Shah, having faith in Yahweh Shah that that you know what I'm saying, having faith in Yahweh Shah that he can walk towards him, he was he was too busy distracted about the winds, man. He was too he got distracted, and he started doubting. You know what I mean? He started he started he started uh, his mind started uh, going somewhere else, so to speak. He started doubting. You know what I mean?
So uh, we was just pretty much like, oh, I can't do this. I can't do this, man. They ain't the win and stuff like that. Instead of, yeah, I was shot standing right there. You know what I mean? And he just, he got freaked out. You know what I mean? He started doubting. He got freaked out. You know what I'm saying? So if that... No way this video was ever found for your actions out there that's watching through the spirit by Yahweh Shima Shai. Let's focus on your by Shima Shai to the best of our abilities. Let's keep on walking straight. Let's not look. Let's not look around towards every any other solution. Let's not look at the other solutions, y'all. Uh, Akim, you know. Let's 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 focus on your by Shima Shai and your by Shima Shai only, man. So with that. All praises and honor and glory unto the heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak Wadash. Next up, the Ba'anis are to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who go out, who still go out there, there who still go out there to the house of the Bible and preach just 100% true, according to the Bible and Ruel. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy unto their Akims out there, who's pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity. With that, Shalom, Kwame Asher Allah.